Hello there, <clears throat> Corky Alexander here, <clears throat> coming to you from uh, Northwest Alabama, and uh, got my Fender Squire Tele here, Affinity Squire, right? Um, I wanted to do a short video on on never underestimate Squires or Epiphones. Because most of you know that are my age, and many of you are, that back in the day, um, you know, we we couldn't afford the Gibsons and the Fenders, uh, and and so we, when those guys came to be our age and owned the companies, while they they still priced out the Les Pauls and the strats, you know, out of reach for most of us. But never underestimate a squire or an epiphone. Because if you do your history, if you observe the artist that you're following after, you will see them eventually pick up a squire or pick up an epiphone. The Beatles, for one, We'll use that Epiphone Casino uh, in a lot of music. And uh, so that um, we, we see them show up. And even today now, because the American-made uh, Gibsons, Les Pauls, and Fender Stratocasters have gone so out of sight price-wise, it has brought the quality of Epiphones and Squires up. So that when I was in Los Angeles recently for the Crossroads Festival, you know, there were a lot of blues men playing Epiphones, Gary Clark Jr. for one. And you'll see these things. Um, one of the great, um, Greatest bass players in psychedelic music, Jack Cassidy of Jefferson Airplane, Hot Tuna, you know, uh, has a signature Epiphone and plays it. And even though he sometimes plays a Gibson. Um, so, you know, these things are cheap, like this one right here, you know. This one right here, just my wife got it for me for $189. <clears throat> I've given it to one daughter and it's come back in my hands now. But there's nothing wrong with this guitar. Now I wouldn't use it in the studio because it's got some hum and the pickups are cheap. <clears throat> but man, this thing will go, this thing will scream, you know, like, uh, watching a PFR concert. I don't know if you people that listen to Christian Rock, I don't know if you remember PFR, but saw an old uh, Cornerstone Festival concert of PFR and they were all playing tellies most of the time and it was really hot. It was great. Great sounds. There's something about a telly. Everything's kind of close, you know? And, uh, so I just love it. Um, dollars you can get that for and the this myth you know I see a lot of guys who come around 
and wanting to take lessons, and they will have bought some showpiece, you know, a Taylor acoustic or, you know, they have some fancy guitar, and uh, they won't even play the thing. Uh, so I, I just like, I like working guitars. Anyway, never underestimate a Fender or an Epiphone.